Hi everyone, it's Carolyn and welcome back. And today I am doing a collaboration with the two of my friends, Natalie the Beauty Diva and Jennifer from Sunny Beach Couture. I'll have their channels linked below. And this is our 15 of 2015. So make sure you go and check them out after you watch this. So let's get started. First, I want to say I hope you all had a wonderful Christmas. Um, I couldn't get back on before. I, uh, I had one video that I had pre-recorded to do with Natalie, and so I was glad that I had done that, you know, at several weeks ahead of, ahead of time. So anyway, um, today is New Year's Eve. I hope you all have a wonderful New Year and that um, it brings you much happiness and health. Um, and I want to say that you are all, I'm just so blessed to have all of you in my life. I've made so many wonderful friends and, um, so I want to thank you. And so let's get started. Okay. This was tough. Um, and, and in fact, I, I kind of cheated just a tad. I made some kind of a little bit of grouping, maybe just a little. So, Okay. The first thing that I want to mention is, I'll put them back over here, I said them after I finished putting my makeup on, it's the most expensive beauty item, I guess you would say, that I've ever gotten. And it is the Wayne Goss Anniversary Set. Here's the other one too, it's dirty. Well, all of them are. Um, these are like no other brush that I have. And I have some nice brushes, um, you know, I have the the Sigma and the um, Sedona Lace, you know, but, oh my gosh, I've never felt anything like these. They're, this brush, too, is just perfect for, you know, putting your powder under your eyes. They don't tug at my eyes. I, I can see myself buying more of these and, and uh, adding more to my collection of these because they're just awesome. <laughs> so... I have to say, I, I uh, don't regret that purchase one bit. Okay. Some of these products are things that are, uh, there's a couple that are new to me, like the brushes that are very new to me, you know, a couple months. Um, some things have been around, you know, longer. Some of them I just discovered in 2015. So, another thing that I wanted to see was it worth hype? Was it, you know, and it was during the VIB sale that I decided to get these. And since it was an eyeshadow, well, you know, I had to try it. And it was the Vizar palettes. I have the 06 Paris Nudes, which is all shimmer, and then the um, 01 Natural Mattes. I love these. I, I'm wearing them today. Most everything I've got on is out of the uh, shimmer palette today, other than my brow bone and my crease color came out of the matte. I can wear this um, matte palette, a complete look out of it, including my, um, my eyeliner, you know, because I'll use the black or the, the brown. It's, it's gorgeous. I just love it. And this one, you know, these are not, they don't have glitter in them. They're just beautiful shimmer shades. So, um, there again, this is something that I could see myself picking up more of, um, but I'd rather do it when they have a, a coupon, <laughs> you know, a 20% off or something like that, because they are pricey. So, all right. Let me go to these eyeshadows. These, um, came out this year and you know here we talked about the really high end but these two are you know drugstore and they're they're oh, I just love these so much they are the NYX prismatic shadows this was in girl talk whenever I don't know what I want to wear this one's got a good dent in it I'll pick up these two shadows I'll put in a crease color and brow bone color you know and I'm Done. And this is Girl Talk. No, this is Bedroom Eyes, and the light one is Girl Talk. 
So there they are there. They're just gorgeous and they're very creamy and buttery and just they look so pretty on. So those are two of uh, I have several shades in those and I and I love them. Okay. Right. Let's go to blushes. This was in last year's, I'm sure it was. Um, this blush I've loved since the day I picked it up and I have I still just pick it up so much of the time because it's gorgeous. <laughs> um, it's Hourglass Mood Exposure. I've talked it to death. I love it. I would buy it this again if I were to run out of it. Um, you know, it takes a long time to use up a blush. It's not anything that just is like, oh my gosh, when I swatch it there, that you're like, what? You know, but I have it on today. You put it on, it's just so, it's just it goes with anything. It's just, it's just so pretty. It's just so pretty. So, love that. I did want to mention the, uh, the um, cheek pops from Clinique. I have several of these. I really do like them. Um, beautiful shades. I don't have any problems with them. You know, staying all day. This one, I was watching. Anybody I mentioned, of course, I link below. Um, Jazzy Girl. And she had shown this one in Nude Pop. And you can see how much I've used this thing. She was putting it on over top of, you know, whatever she had at on, I guess. And I bought it. I watched it. When I saw her, I mean, you can barely see it. So anybody that's very fair skinned, this would be, you know, you wanted something very natural looking, this would be perfect. Um, but if you put this on, I put it on top of anything. If I just want a little bit of extra, it's almost like it has a glow about it or something. Even though it's not glowy, sparkly or anything like that, it just gives a little something extra. So, I like that one. As you can tell, I've made a pretty good dent in that one. Okay, I'm going to save that till later. This year, I, I've been lucky with concealers. Concealers are a hard thing to find that doesn't settle and, you know, look cakey and all that kind of thing. I do love the one from Lancome, uh, the one from Estee Lauder, I like it. But I tried this one this year, and it's the Urban Decay Naked Skin. I love the um, doe foot applicator on it. It's just light, and it, uh, it doesn't leave my under eye looking dry or cakey or anything like that. I just blend it in with my beauty blender and it's awesome. <laughs> I um, I know so many people like the NARS uh, creamy concealer. I didn't like that at all. It made mine very, you know, cakey looking underneath. This is beautiful. Love it. Okay. Um, I put this in here because this has really been one of my favorites that I found this year. Well, you know, I heard about it on YouTube, I'm sure, or, you know, it's a new product that came out in the drugstore, and I'm always looking at that. Um, this is CoverGirls, the Super Sizer. This mascara, I, I don't like to spend, uh, you know, get a high-end mascara. I mean, you know, get those little samples or something, you know, with gift, with purchase or whatever, and that's great. But I really don't har hardly ever buy a um, high-end mascara. This one, I really like this one a lot. In fact, this is my third one. The first one I bought was waterproof. I do like a waterproof mascara, especially in the summertime. Um, and I like that one, but I like the regular form formula better. I think it gives your lashes more length to them, and they just kind of fan out. In fact, I started to put on some false lashes, and I... I I'm not good at that anyway. And I thought, why am I even going to bother? I love this stuff. So, if you haven't tried it, this might be one you want to pick up at the drugstore. It's great. Okay. This I had heard um, Natalie, the beauty diva, talk about. I was always uh, loved the Benefit Gimme Brow. 
um, with having bangs, I don't do a lot to my brows, you know. <laughs> and that's the good thing about bangs, I guess. But this is L'Oreal Brow Stylist Plumper. It's uh, brow, gel, brow Gel Mascara. It looks like this. It has a little wand on it. Like that. So, you know, this is longer, of course, than the, the uh, Give Me Brow, but this stuff is awesome. So it has replaced the uh, Give Me Brow um, and at a fraction of the cost, too. So I really like this. Okay. This is, uh, you know, finding an eyeliner that you can put on, especially in the waterline that's going to stay there. This is the only one that I've found that will stay, you know, for a long time. <laughs> There's other ones that I use, but this is, is my favorite for that. And it's the Marc Jacobs um, in Blacker. I have another color. It's a green that I wear, too. I will tell you, now this, for tight lining and putting in your waterline, it'll stay there pretty well. I mean, I've had this on for a while, you know. I mean, I don't think any of them stay there for are perfect, but this one's as close to any of them that I've found. The only thing that I don't like about this is you. I wear contacts, and you have to be careful because if you get it on your contact, it is a bear to get off. It, and sometimes you can't get it off because I have had to, mine are daily contacts, so I've had to toss one and put on another contact because of it. So you just have to be careful and not get it on your contacts. Um, sometimes I'll put it on before I put my contacts in, but uh, this stays better than any that I have tried, so I really like that. Okay. <clears throat> 2015 was the year of contour, it seemed. You know, everybody had a contour palette. You know, it was everywhere. So, of course, I, I wanted to try two. <laughs> and I picked two because these, I absolutely love these. It's the Smashbox contour pencils. Highlight, it's a highlighter, a bronzer, and a contour. They are as creamy as can be. I mean, I've not had anything like this. I mean, you can just, with no effort at all, I mean, it's just wonderful. But, now this one, and I sharpened the wrong end, so, you know, I had a blonde moment. This is the contour one, and I, I don't use it all the time now because these are so soft that you just sharpen them up. I mean, and they're very expensive. So, but as far as formula, I wanted to mention it, I love these, and they just blend out so well. But for the price and because they use up so quickly, I, I probably would never repurchase these, but the formula is awesome. <laughs> As far as for powder contour, um, you know, I looked at all the different ones that were out. I mean, it was overwhelming. There was so many at one time. And I went with the Lorac Pro. This one, I can use every shade that's in here. So, um, this is like almost like a banana powder, I guess you'd say yellowish. Put that and sit my under eye. Um, this one I'll use like right underneath here when I'm carving out, when I've done some contouring, put it up in here, right down here. This is a highlight. All three of these shades, you know, of course this is more, you know, your contour. But even these two, I can use as contour, I can bronze with it. So, with this palette, and it came with a brush, I love it. So, this was, uh... Didn't disappoint, that's for sure. But I, I'm a, I'm a huge fan of the rock. So, okay. This primer I've talked about before. I've had this is the second or third one I've used to this. This is great, especially for the summer. I can use it year round, but especially the summertime. Um, and it's the Cargo Blu-ray High Definition Mattifier, um, oil free. For any of you that have oily skin, this stuff is amazing. 
and it is a silicone type feel to it and you just press it into your you know pores and that kind of thing just you know just press it into your skin and I have it on today too and I love it but um yeah this is a, a must-have if you have oily skin this is this works great okay This I got from my friend Melissa55. We did a swap when I first started YouTube and she was the first person I did a swap with. I think I, that, that was her first swap as well. And she sent me this in the swap and I love it. I use it pretty much every time I put on makeup and it is the uh, MAC Painterly Paint Pot. And you know, I've, I've loved it well. And this is two and a half years old I want to say and it's still just as creamy as can be so I know this is something that once I use it up I would definitely buy it again um, it just is a nice base for my shadows um, it then crease you know it has very little color to it but you know any veining or any discoloration will cover it up so another thing that is um, I'd rather use this than anything else. I mean, any primers or any of that kind of thing. Okay, foundation. These two together are, for me, are perfection. <laughs> Estee Lauder Double Wear. I love it. I put mine in an airless pump bottle. It's cheaper than buying the Mac pump for the, you know, for the uh, Estee Lauder bottle. And the other one is the Perfection Luminaire Velvet from Chanel. This one is a little bit heavier. I might not want things so um, thick, if you will. But this one I can use alone. And if I want, you know, matte everything, just, you know, full coverage but now this one I love the texture of this I love the, the feel of this but I want it to last a little bit longer um, for it to be a little bit more matte where this one is not an all matte um, foundation so if I use most all of this and I put just a little bit of this in with it it's perfect and that's what I use basically every day. Um, I have another one on today that I'm trying, and I'll let you know about that soon. Okay, a couple more things, and I don't know if I've gone over. I don't think I did. I, I don't think I had them counted out. <laughs> um, this I got this year from um, Lovely Skin, and. I've fallen in love with it, and it is the Elemis Pro Collagen Marine Cream. It's in a jar like this. It is, it, I don't know, it just makes my skin feel so good. And I'm getting very much close to the end. It smells, oh, it smells so good, and it's like, like spa-like or whatever. It's just, it's wonderful. Um, I, it, it hadn't broken my skin out. I think it, it's, you know, it's helped some with my skin. I can see some differences in it for sure. Um, but I really, I really like this. I like the way it feels. I have to be careful, you know, a lot of times with different, uh, cream type things like this because it will, uh, break my skin out. Um, and this... This didn't, and I love it. Okay. This I learned about from my friend Laura at uh, Shake Up Makeup. And it's the Sonia Kashuk um, eyeliners. From She got hers at Target. That's, that's where I found it. And so it's got all these different colors in it. You can use them dry. You can use them wet. This, when I travel, I'll usually throw this in 
and you know, like I said, I, I can just take my finger if I needed to. If I, I have in the, been in the in the bathroom and just put my finger under the this uh, faucet and just dripped a little bit of water here because that's all you need so just a little bit to wet your brush and then you can get you know whichever color you want on there. Um, or I'll have a spray bottle here at my desk and I'll just spray a little bit of water on the lid. And these are these are wonderful. They stay. They you know they just go on really easily. And I like using a shadow as um, my liner, and so I enjoy these a lot. And I do reach for this a lot. I use that black an awful lot, <laughs> and the brown because brown sometimes you don't find that in a palette. So, and to go with that is one of my favorite brushes for um, to use along with that, and it is by Beauty Junkies. It's the Pro Precision Eyeliner, and it looks like that. And this has just been, it holds its shape. It's, it's just perfect to just put my liner on in a perfect line. It, it's not too thick. You know, it's just, I love this brush. I think this is the best eyeliner brush that I've used. So, um, I mean, I do use the um, one from um, Wayne Goss uh, now, too, because I've been trying that. But this, I love this brush. Love it. And... I have tried so many dupes for this, and I'm sure so many of you have too, and they work well, but there's just something about the Beauty Blender that you, they just, it's just this texture. The way it, it just pounces on the skin is just, I've never had anything to apply. No, I can't say it to apply because I've had others that worked well as far as applying. There's just something about this texture, the way it feels. I I just love it, you know. Um, I have some of the other uh, Beauty Blender dupes, but there's nothing that has been, for me, exactly like this in, in the way it feels. I don't know. Um, so... I always have a beauty blender <laughs> and I use these to put on my foundation and also my under eye concealer so that is another one that I I do love and a new love for me this year is is a lipstick and I purchased it recently I have it on today and it's from um, NARS and it's uh, from the audacious and it is Barbara and it goes with everything. It's just, it's perfect. And then a friend sent me this one. Um, it's the Lee Swatier in uh, Biscotti. It's along that same color. Beautiful. Beautiful. So, those are my 15 for 2015. Make sure you go over and check out um, Natalie and Jennifer, and um, I'll have their channels linked below. Um, I'll try to get all the products linked below, so if there's anything that you're interested in, um, I hope you all have a, a, a great new year. Um, it's just a new start. I don't, I don't make resolutions because... To me, I, you know, I end up breaking them and, and I just let myself down if I do. Um, you know, I just know there's things that I want to change and I want to do. and But that's all the time, all year round. It's not just at New Year's. So, um, I, I just not really big into New Year's resolutions. But I want to thank you all for this wonderful year of being here with me. I'm completely blessed for each and every one of you being here with and and spending time with me um so i uh I look forward to this year and all the new things that it brings so um you all have a wonderful afternoon and i will see you soon take care my friends bye-bye